already, but we won't be late to the live event, which is tomorrow in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, we will be there tomorrow, but first we have a doubleheader, an Emma Fife doubleheader, going up against two people from the Viper Squad. We've got Jay Washington and Janine the Machine. At Fight for Life! This is a tough one for me because I both love Jay Washington and Janine. We got to spend right. a lot of quality time with Janine when we were there for The Spectacular. But I am part of the Fife Club as well, so this is kind of like a catch 22-ish. Yeah, it's a lose-lose situation or a win-win situation, depending on how you're looking at it. But Christian Harloff did lay down the knowledge that you gotta watch the cutscenes in this one, which is very relevant to the live event. So we are going to speculate that it is definitely going to more than likely have to do with a certain stable coming together because Kalinowski has been uh, very vocal on Twitter about how he will be at the live event. So I am really looking forward to seeing how that storyline is going to come into play when it comes to at least the Fife Club, the Viper Squad, and of course Team Action. Everybody going at it at the live event. So I'm really interested to see how it goes down. So first we've got Janine the Machine going up against Emma Fife. Hashtag who you got. Oh, this is a tough one. Ah, God. Uh, Remember how excited Emma looked when she ended up winning that manager's ball? I know. Remember so how Emma has fought tooth and nail to create this entire stable? Just know, I'm really <laughs> torn about this, if you guys are watching this. I'm going to have to go Emma. Emma! Okay, well I'm going Janine the Machine because Janine the Machine, we've seen what she can I'm do sorry, firsthand. Janine. I do love Emma, but as well, I do think Emma is more well-rounded when it comes to the inner geekdom battles, which she will be having with Jay Washington. I will tell you this, this is how I came to Emma. Sure. Emma's part of the Fife Club, right? right. Emma's a manager. Emma's right. a manager of Shire Wolves. Right. Shire Wolves are my favorite team right now. So I got to you know, I got to support right. the Fife Club as a whole because the Shire Wolves are part of that. Makes sense. So let's get into the first battle between Janine and Emma now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, there he is. Hey, Mike. How's it Steel going? Steal his stapler. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> you've, been out, uh, you've been busy these last few weeks, haven't you? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. You've been busy. I mean, yeah. It's doing commission stuff, right? Yeah, it, it's, it never ends. Commission. It never ends. I don't know if he was a good guy or a bad guy on uh, General Hospital, General Hospital, General Hospital you, about, uh, but he's really using his soap opera. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, he was a bartender. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five way, five way match. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We're going we're gonna to do something a little different with that. No, 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 no. no. It's going to be a five way match, and then the, the winners of all. Like it's been done before. Five way, four losers, one winner. Yeah, yeah, I think you remember that. Yeah, I don't know. I do. Oh, oh, I do remember that. Oh, That's why oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to do things a little different. We're going to do uh, a tournament. It's going to be an intergeekdom tournament. No, 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 no. We don't have time to do all that tournament stuff. We have to get let, 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 stop, jump let me stop you right there. Because yeah. I think... It's my interest. Is it a contract? It's a contract that... We're just talking about this, too, with the contract and that. You know what? I, I think I think a tournament probably sounds like a better option. Uh, I think we could probably uh, squeeze well, that in. What's in the note? You think it's commish? You can make that happen. I, I th yes, I think I think I can. Uh, I can make that work. Yeah. Can you make sixteen people work? Well, let me stop you right there. Sure. We're gonna, sure. We're gonna, yeah. go, we're gonna go sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen people sounds fine. Yeah. Sixteen people sounds fine. Yeah. Sounds sure. Good. Well, then you can tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Whole tournament. No problems with that. None whatsoever. Okay. You know what? You go ahead and. Uh, Hold on to that because I got some copies of that. You see a little bit. <laughs> like Michael and his toys. Where's the shredder? So, does he not want anyone to see what it is or? Um, I, is yeah, I'm assuming he wants window? to shred it so that nobody can see what's inside the note. Clever. Maybe that's a battle, what was it? The battle bowl Christian was talking about? Possibly. Emma laughing. Emma, Emma's been traveling on the heel watch a bit. Oh, she's just incredibly assertive, which comes across as healy. Competitor versus competitor, but it's also 
faction versus faction. It reminds one of the Montagues and the Capulets from the classic Claire Danes movie. That's right. Now listen, uh, <laughs> I was, was going to say Romeo actually, and Juliet. Like you and Emma Fight were sitting at the table Same thing, I guess. during um, during Stacy Howard yep. and RB 3s match, and Janine the Machine comes out here, and Emma was kind of minding her own business, and the Machine throws down a challenge, and to, to Emma Fife's credit, she just says, "Yeah, let's do it." And the thing is, Emma Fife has been on this this road here to where she started at the Schmodown Spectacular, winning the Manager's Bowl. Big W for her, conquering a lot of foes that we almost were breaking the anyway. Game. Almost. Those foes being Jay Washington. <laughs> Don't and, like uh, him. There's a lot of beef there because Jay Washington last season tries to recruit Clark Wolf, tries to mm -hmm. recruit Rachel Cushing, can't loses to Mark yeah. Andreco, right? Can't do it, and then Emma. Not only gets Mark Andreco, gets the Shire Wolves, and has the Star Wars champion in the faction. Everything is going right for the for, uh, Emma right now, and I think that it is time for the Viper Squad now adding Marquia to their squad to really kind of throw some heat towards the Five Club. Yeah, sure, and that's why Emma Five is the favorite today. But if I'm just looking at this on paper as the uninformed layperson, I'm seeing one and zero for Emma Five and one and zero for Janine the Machine. So this is going to be an even Mark playing field. It's just going to be who vocalize can play their it. strings. Better. I'm excited to watch this matchup. I am too, and we're gonna get a chance to hear from the competitors, and there's not gonna be a lot of nice words. Here we go. Here comes the freaking uh, attitude. I know what you're thinking. You can spare your comments. Where's the rest of the Fife Club? They all wanted to be here. I politely asked them to please hang back. After all, I won the manager bowl on my own. That's what kind of set me down this path. Obviously, Andrego was there, and for that, I am extremely grateful. He is the first person who agreed to be part of this faction and set us on the road to victory that we seem to be doing pretty well on. I remember around this time last year, I told the entire Schmodown that I was going to put together a faction that would put the league on notice, and we were this close to having it until somebody decided she wanted to get high off white bread and be <laughs> traitors. So now I have Stacy who's out handling Viper business. I've got the machine who's gonna wreck some hella shop today. And right now I want to take the pleasure of introducing you to the newest member of the Viper squad. Ladies and gentlemen, please start clapping in your seats by your computers, by your cell phones, even your bootleg flat screen TVs <laughs> for marvelous Marquia McCarty. So, as you see, things are getting a hell of a lot bigger the R2 and a gear. whole lot better out here. Personally, I think that there's a little bit of a grudge held on Jay Washington's part because I scored the Shire Wolves for my faction. He was after Rachel Cushing, yeah. hardcore. He maybe expressed a little interest in Clark, but Rachel is the one that really, really stings. And I think that there's a little bit of jealousy on Jay's part, quite frankly. I gave two donkey deuces about Emma Fife and her little <laughs> club of goody goodies. That was until Blondie started running her mouth. It's easy to just lazily cherry pick some decent players from the league, but a real evil genius knows how to build killing machines from the ground up. You're gonna Damn, be out girl. there, you're gonna be talking about my goody two-shoes attitude or how I'm so <laughs> jealous met, of Jay Washington and how <laughs> the Viper so Squad nice. is here to destroy everybody. But listen, girl, it's way easier to talk smack than to play the game. It's totally different up there under the lights. I've been in big matches. I've been around big matches before. So good luck to you. When those lights are on, it is a totally different ball game. Two things you can do about it. Not so golden, Mike. And that's nothing and deal, deal with, with it. it. Damn it. <laughs> Look, a lot of the stuff oh, was dear. said. Oh, oh dear. dear. Well, I remember <laughs> saying what we, all, what we all said, and that is the fact that she's calling out the fact that Jay might be a bit jealous of the success. Is where Jay is saying, you know, he put together the wrong squad last time, and this is the right squad. He introduced Marquia inside of that, uh, inside of that introduction right there, and then now we have um, this heated rivalry between both groups. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how to put this lightly as far as Jay Washington as the leader of a faction goes. Uh, he, he's in need of hydration. He could use electrodes. He's a very thirsty manager, and when you look at Emma Fife, she not only is a good competitor, but she also seems to be more in control of what's going on in her faction. Jay's building something right now, and they can take a huge step towards that process with a win over Emma Fife here This today. would be huge for Janine. She would be 2-0. She took, took a victory over Bonnie Somerville, who hadn't been back in the ring for a little bit, and then you had had Emma, who, who had beaten Tom, 
Jay and Ricky at the same time. So because of that, that victory just gets her that much more in the rankings over Janine. But this is a huge victory for either one of these competitors here. They would be 2-0 and and find themselves in the top 10 in the singles. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a huge achievement to beat Emma Fife and taking nothing away from Janine the Machine. The fact that Bonnie Somerville got the studio address right on the day of her game yep. is enough for her. <laughs> Janine's got a taller test here today. I love you, Bonnie Somerville. See Aww. you at home tonight. She's not watching us. So. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Starbucks. Right, here, we go. here we go. Now we get into the tail. I'm drinking today. Christian. I can tell. Oh, here is he? To That's the awesome. Tail of the tape first. You get the machine. Her strengths are. Gets a little loosey goosey with the. Uh, you have the movies. antics and talking smack and not liking uh, managers with blonde hair. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. She's not a fan of the blonde. No, and then you get Emma Fife, and Emma Fife has the strengths of. Harry Potter movies, also comic book movies, and stealing people away from Jay Washington. Uh, Emma Fife is blonde. She is under attack, as is all of Sweden right now, because Janine the Machine is coming. Can she do it? We're about to find out. All right, so if They're you're ready, you're ready to go. They are blonde. Yeah, I, I believe why I knew that I was ready. All right, well then, it's time for the Movie, movie Trivia Schmodown. Can't wait to hear that live. We've heard it live, but live. Introducing first, first, representing the Viper Squad. Hell oh, yeah. Every it time me over. It's so, it's so Even more. Every time we're in the car, we turn on the radio. The song is always playing. It's a good song. It is a good song. They just know that we want to listen to yeah. it every time. Uh, is she coming out like Siri? Yes. Concentrate Getting, on your wow. Kia's giving us cold eyes here. I mean, <laughs> I anger, it. anger here, but as the but I gotta yeah, go for Emma. But I love it about the Vipers, but they do. They come out. They wait. They wait. Now Emma said she was gonna be by herself, but I'm, I'm hearing other. I'm hearing other things. I'm you don't think it's just gonna be Emma Fife emerging through that curtain in a matter of I, seconds? I heard that there was a certain competitor that that plead plead with Emma and said I, she really wanted to be out with. Her. I have no. Who Rachel, could be, I, I honestly you drink don't know. him and her opponent. Representing the Fight Club with a record of one win, no defeats, the Golden Knight, Emma Fight! Oh, hell yeah. Uh, hell yeah, going back to her roots. Yeah. Is Janelle Monique going to come out? Yeah, it's one on three right now. Yeah, right. So Emma did actually come out. Emma, you're, you are by yourself. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. <laughs> the crusher I knew it. Is here. The crusher, the crusher is here. Oh, it's got a port. Extra port backup. Yeah, so the Five Club. The Five Club has really been there for each other. And, and Rachel Cushing coming out here. That is a nice show of support. Will yeah. the port be for support or for sustenance during the match? <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm about to bite the head off this little port. <laughs> Just like Janine's Jean's about to bite the head off Emma Fife. Packed with oh. protein. I see Jay Washington's Instagram selfies from the gym all the time. He clearly needs more grams today. <laughs> all right. Here we go, guys. So if I can ask, if I can ask the Viper Squad to, to please leave. Jay, go back to 20. 24-hour fitness. Oh. Will he take Marquia with him? <laughs> uh, I, like, I like Janine's mug. All right, here we go. Here, here we go. So, guys, round yes. number one. How's it going to work? Rizzi always she says, designed it. Villain one, something. The competitors are going to hear Washington. eight questions when he's villain eight status. different I don't remember. movie. And, Emma, are you ready to go? I'm ready, Christian. Machine, you ready? Let's do this. Then let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to Schmodown! Schmodown! All right, here we go. Round number one begins, and your first question comes from the realm of action adventure. Ladies, here we go. Who played the lead character Beatrice? That's Beatrice. 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 Tris Pryor in the Divergent films. I believe Beatrice was the name of one of the mice in Cinderella. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. What were their names? No, no, I'm sorry. The fairy gun. Were they Sleeping Beauty? Five. Okay. I don't know how to spell her, her, her name. I really don't like her. Two. Repeat the question. She's in the Who boat movie. The character that's out right now. Tris I don't know how to in the spell her first name. So I, I spelled it. Yes, Gus. Either Gus. 
But then there were three fairy godmothers, one of whom was Beatrice. Five, four, That's right, though. three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down. Shailene Woolley. And Emma. Uh, Mark, the movie you're thinking of, I think, is Sleeping Beauty, and the answer is Shailene Woodley. Correct for one point. Yeah, yeah I spelled it wrong. Didn't have yeah, it. That's okay. phonetically right. right. So now he goes, Emma, I put sassy cry face. Shailene Woodley she cries a lot. Store one time in Los Angeles. Did you? She's a nice person. I heard, I heard she was hugged. She likes to hug. Did not hug me that day, oh, nor any other day. We go to romantic <laughs> comedy, and your question is, who plays Dr. Aaron Connors, Amy Schumer's co-lead and romantic interest in Trainwreck? Oh, my God. I say that was Tom Never saw very different plot and theme. Why can't I think of his name? Five, but you know the Pringles commercial? Four. I know, Here I can't think question. of the same. Yep. Yes, same there you go. Okay. Come on. Spending JTE yeah, yeah. rules like wow. she has a black I know! Wow. Your I is, know! Who plays Dr. Aaron Connors? SNL. Amy Schumer's co lead and romantic you got interest it. in trade wreck. It could be the wrong answer, too. It's I don't not. Know. Is it him? Three, yeah, it's him. Two, one, Jeanine. I can't remember his name. Bill Hader? Right. Damn it, Bill Hader! I uh, could not come up with I knew it was kind of like, uh, anyway, it was an SNL person. I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Did he do Damn a little it. bit of voice work for your little friend, BB-8? Oh. Sure did. So did John Ralphio. So Ben Hader. Hader did also. Oh. Yeah, both, both of them did. Yeah. All right, here we go. Points are flying by Did they say they hated it also? Here we go. Hader did it also. Dramas. Dramas. In the film Spotlight, Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo work for which newspaper? Uh, did you know Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo have both played superheroes? Can you name the superheroes they've played? What do you say? Just thought it'd be a fun. Mr. Mom. <laughs> Technically, yes. a superhero. Five. Is raising kids a superhero? I don't power? remember. It is. I so no I'm at the Boston Globe. I say Globe. get rid of one and Emma. Total guess, the New York Times. Incorrect, Janine. Yes, yeah, Chicago Sun-Times. Correct, looking for Boston Globe. Uh, they both got actual damn. newspapers there. Oh I saw it twice, and I put the Boston Globe. Globe. I guess oh, that retained somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Your question therein. Who played I never reporter saw Vicky Vale ah. in Tim Burton's 1989 film, Batman? I don't remember her name. You ever seen uh, Keaton Blank Man? Back to back. I, I saw <laughs> Blank Man in the theaters. Damon, Damon Wayans? Wayans. He had concentrated flatulence was a good joke. I can see her face. I can see her blonde hair. I heard it. But I can't think of her name. Former Mrs. Alec Baldwin. One pen. Oh, it's going to kill me. And we have Slim Shady's uh, mom and eight mom. Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger. God damn it. Is it Basinger? I want to give it a yeah, Basinger. Basinger. They spelled it right. No point for anyone. Stop it. Stop it. Next Hit the G. Question. Next question. You ever dance uh, with the go. Dale in a pale moonlight? Fantasy sci-fi. Dale Devil. Fantasy sci-fi is your next question. Who directed the first Hellboy film? Uh, How would you like it if your nickname was Hellboy? All right. Hey, here comes Hellboy Harklock. Hellboy. That's for my nickname. It should have been. <laughs> Better than Haymaker. Hey, don't let Hellboy fight. See, I feel like he directed the sequel because he directs all the sequels of great movies. Or the sequels of cool franchises. But I don't know if he did the first one. Yes, it was. It was? That's why it's kind of a rope a are thinking of Blade. She had not. Damn it. Right. Jean. Guillermo del Toro. She had it. Oh, Guillermo. I would challenge. I would challenge it. It's on your board. Wow. Just go with your gut. Yeah. And, it's and not Guillermo del Toro. Still, it's, it's on the board. Time. All right. Our next I challenge. question comes from the world you of animated fail. movies. These are movies that it's are on the board. on paper on a computer. Your question is. I could write poop Guillermo del Toro and it would count. Dwayne the Rock Johnson's character in Moana. Oh, damn. And this was one of our questions. Uh, I hope Emma Fuck does not write down as he. Five. Yeah, you're welcome. Three, oh. Two, one. Pens down. Maui. Please. And Janine. Maui? Correct. This was one of our questions oh, against Team Axe. Yeah, it was one of our questions against Team Axe. <laughs> they got it wrong, both of them. Mm -hmm. it's so so hot I almost slipped that. Almost got I almost slipped that. Here we go. So, next question is. I got it. I know he said it. You almost didn't get it. Horror, horror thriller. Horror, horror thriller is your next category. Your penultimate one in round one. And um, I'm going to allow Christian to read this question. Just steal my thunder here. Right, horror thriller. Why don't you go ahead and read one. Thank you. A cricket bat is used to fight off zombies in which horror comedy? I'm uh, reading that question to you. you. Think you can do another one? No, I think you wrote it for me. <laughs> you heard it. I said yeah. I was setting it up. And no, let's I go to the Winchester. Five, four. 
three. Wait for this to blow. I, I can't remember how it spells. Shaun of the Dead. That's correct. Gene. Shaun of the Dead. Okay. Damn it, it's S-H-A-U-N. Five, four. Machine up by one as we get to our... U-N, I put W. Yeah, well played round so yeah. far. This is a Patreon. I didn't remember how he spelled Sean. Check out the Schmodown Patreon. Thank you to all of our patrons for your support. This Patreon question comes from a loyal Jake Hammer. Thank you, Jake. Jake Hammer. Not Jake just Hammer. Not another one from Jake Hammer. He sends us stuff. Super powered. It's an awesome book. Check it out. From Jake Hammer. Is your last category from Jake Hammer. The question is, what movie features the song Scotty Doesn't Know as a running gag throughout the film? Why can't I think of the name of the film? Boy, the crowd. Don't tell Scotty. You this one or you don't, kind of thing. Five. It's right here. Who sings it? Three. Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. One yeah. Down, no, Damn it. I couldn't think of it. Euro trip. That's correct. Damn it. I, uh, it is Euro trip. Answer, I'd like to take this moment to thank all of the patrons. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought it was a very nice thing. You didn't get it? So no, I couldn't remember the name. I love Euro trip. I was thinking road trip in my head, but it was Euro trip. Yeah, I've never <sighs> seen the movie. I didn't know it was that popular. It's good. It's, it's fun. The, the twins. Has anybody ever walked into a salon and said, I want salmon? Tiny salmon swimming in the stream. Road trip. Tiny salmon chasing that impossible dream. There you go. Sticking with it or spinning again? One more time. Not a fan of the movie category as far as a decade goes. So what are we doing here? Yeah. Interesting to know. It's ten years. Round, Is it though? Two thousand. I feel like the two thousands could still also work as the twenty tens uh, too. Uh, uh, they would put twenty tens. Yeah, that's true. Kate there you go. Kate Winslet. There you go. Kate Winslet has her Smoke own flight. I don't remember this. I guess it's new. Smoke signals. Heavenly creatures. Peter Jackson. Yes. We just found that recently. Kate Winslet movies. She's an actress in Hollywood. Melanie Linsky. Yes, I am aware. A little bit more oh, thank you, Rachel. Thank there you go. Another thank port you. Comes out here. Two ports. Uh, Christian, another Three port if you count the mic. Yeah. And that's another port that has escaped Jay Washington's mouth. All right, All right here we go. <laughs> Emma, your first question to you and your gaggle of porks. <laughs> it's a murder of porks. It's a murder? Yeah. Murder of porks. No, like crows. Anyway. Your question is, besides Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, Billy Zane. what other Titanic star appeared in Revolutionary Road? Hmm. Oh, Kathy Bates. Can I go multiple choice? I can provide that for you and your school of porgs. Is it A, Billy Zane, B, Kathy Bates, C, Bill Paxton, or D, Susie Amos? I'm going to go with Billy Zane. Incorrect. Jeanine for the steal. Bill Paxton? Ah, Kathy no Bates. Point for either Come one on, them. guys. She plays Kathy the realtor. Uh, She's a very one of those nosy, like, neighbors in the movie. Question number two. Yeah. Never saw it. Who Don plays Knotts? the older Michael Berg and Kate Winslet's co-lead in the movie The Reader? Uh, Ralph. Uh, Ralph. I'm going to have to go multiple times. Ralph I Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. You and your flock of porks. Is it A, Kevin Spacey? B. Ralph Fiennes, C. Patrick Wilson, or D. Jude Law. I'm gonna say Ray Fiennes. Give her a point. There you go. Okay. Good <laughs> job, Vanessa and Emma. Of Janine. And your next question, Emma Fife. Mm -hmm. Kate Winslet played the villain, Janine Matthews, in this film franchise based off a series of young adult books. Divergent. Uh, beautiful creatures. Oh. That is incorrect. Uh, we got Janine. Divergent. Two points. Damn, two. Three point lead. And she is not touching the wheel yet. A second diversion. <laughs> All right, Hold Emma on. Fife. Oh, that's right. Hey, yeah, that's right. All right, Emma Fife. Your last question to get within a point of Janine the Machine. Kate Winslet starred opposite Michael Fassbender in this 2015 biopic. Uh, 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 jobs. Jobs. Yeah. Gonna have to go multiple yeah. choice. You're yeah, right. Provide that for you and your uh -huh. pride of poor. Jewel of Correct. Is it A. The Mountain Between Us? B. Spotlight. C. Steve Jobs. No, we would have gotten it D, wrong. Concussion. Because we said Jobs, but it's Steve Jobs. Yeah. And there, I think there was the Jobs with us. Kusher, wasn't Spotlight. there? Ashton Kutcher. Oh Steve yeah. Jobs Steve Jobs. Or concussion. I'm gonna go Mountain Between Us. 
Steve Jobs. Correct. <laughs> and Janine the Machine. The mountain between us was Idris Elba. It was Idris Elba. Touches, has a four four point lead. Lead. But, now, but look, Emma needs some steals. You did pretty good with that. You did pretty good with Kate Winslet. Janine. Go ahead and give it a spin. Janine, no help from a port. No, I know, like three Janine movies of Kate Winslet. Yeah, this is Internal spotless for the machine. Eternal, Eternal sunshine, sunshine of the spotless mind. Looking solid. Titanic oh, and Pass upon a choice Heavenly could be creatures. Rom-coms, Christian. Yeah. Rom-coms, which is a strength. Is that you? So the three. Like Go with it, girl. Yes. Yes. This is something she is, uh, it's a strength, as I said. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, Janine, you have four questions in the world of rom-coms, your first one. Ryan Reynolds tells his daughter the story of how he met her mother. Definitely, Definitely maybe. Got it. Definitely maybe. That's a good yeah. movie. Yeah. I do like that. It's a really good movie. Right. Isla Fisher. What was Amelie's occupation in the charming romantic comedy Amelie? Writer. Multiple choice. Is it A. Market clerk. B. Nanny. C. Salon hairdresser. Oh, damn, I don't remember. Waitress. I say waitress. Waitress. That's correct for yeah. one point. All right. This is a pretty incredible run. Janine's Saw it right years now. ago when I worked in at Hollywood Video. Romantic comedy slash comedy. Dave, who plays the first lady? Sigourney Ellen Weaver. Mitchell. Sigourney Weaver. Is it Emma Thompson? No, that's correct. Um, Meryl Streep. Oh no, Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney uh, Weaver. Love Dave. Uh, I, I caught a fish that. this All right. big. All right. and Kevin Klein. He plays two Dave here. and the president. <laughs> Because of that, He's a it's double. A chance for a knockout, but here we go. In which film will you find Paul Rudd, a real estate, in search for a male best friend? I love you, uh, I man. I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Slap at the base. Slap at the base. 14 5 here. Big Nine time. Point lead as she Big gets time. Into Big time. Big number time. Three. Mark, how does round number three work? Round number three works like what this. Each competitor is going to give us three I don't numbers know how to from call one to 20. <laughs> Those numbers correspond to the category <laughs> up here. Oh, two more pugs coming in. Oh, we have there you go. Look at all the pugs. All right, as we get, as we get Emma, Emma Fife has as many oh. porgs as points right now, Christian. All right. Oh. 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 A, I'm, I'm stating a fact here. I'm uh -huh. stating a fact here. Hey, you just, you just want heal on me. You just want heal on me. I'd never go heal. All right, here we go. So, <laughs> unless the good people at Coors Light ask me to. Right, here we go. So, we have number 10 is what you chose. Yes. You chose Matthew McConaughey for your two-pointer. Okay. All right. To stay in the game here, Emma, you need this. Who Come played on. Matthew McConaughey's co-lead Rayon, Rayon in Dallas Buyers Club? Jared Leto. Two points. Jared Leto. Uh, yeah. so Jared the Jared the Jared extra force clearly Jared supplementing her Jared film Leto. knowledge. That jumps us to her three-pointer. Her three-pointer comes in the, in the realm of Sandra Bullock films. Okay. Sandra Bullock Sandy. films. Who Sandy. plays George Wade, an arrogant billionaire, real estate tycoon in two weeks' notice? Frick, what's his name? Uh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. There we go. Yes. Hmm. Five. Four. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, she's like the last JT. Yeah, she's Drag the out <laughs> the, the Who repeat plays the question. George Wade. Yeah, Hugh Grant. Yeah. Real estate yeah. It's funny. I was still stuck on Matthew I just Conahan. recently watched that. Yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. She needs to the most. Her back is against the wall. This entire round, if she gets this. Good job, Emma. I like that movie. Janine, the machine. I never saw it. I like nine months. She takes the lead. All right, so here is your five-pointer. He's in the realm of Scorsese films. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? Damn, I don't know. Goodfellas. Taxi Driver. I will uh, repeat the question. Paul Schrader was the screenwriter of which Martin Scorsese film? I don't know. Uh, I will say Gangs of New York. <laughs> And your winner! Damn, girl, that was a tough five pointer. There you go, girl. She's got class still. Not saying anything speaks louder. He's got the, there he is. He's, 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 he's,
but there you go. Um, I don't say this is the <laughs> Good end for of you, Janine. In so singles by any that's two for Janine, Janine though. Emma, yeah. Emma didn't Good. want to play in singles. She was just she was just accepting the challenge because she was up here, and Emma does not stray from her challenge. She was challenged. She said yes. Emma is managing a very. She's good a great profession. manager of a great faction. Yeah. Um, but, but Janine, the machine. I mean, you, you talk it's about some. It, it's it's one thing to manage a faction. What was the answer to the Scorsese to put a question? On your back, and it seems to be what Janine, the machine's yeah. mo is because she's Still taking the Viper Squad. Later. But as we said in the pregame. Elevating them to or another level with this victory here we'll today. Forget. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in these post-interviews, because I'm sure we have a lot of matchups that could potentially happen. Here we go. What's up, Schmodown patrons and fans? I am here with <laughs> Janine the Machine, the first place finisher today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling perfect. I'm glad you're feeling perfect. Someone else is feeling very excited right now. Jay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. This is beautiful. I'm even going to tolerate standing next to you. Hey. We said we were going to do something, and we, she did it phenomenally. It was beautiful. Janine didn't even have to answer a question in the third round. Did you get how dope that is? You wouldn't. But it's so dope. I swear <laughs> to God. I definitely would not because I'm not on that level, and that's okay. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? I feel like we can rub salt in this world a little bit more. I feel like just a little well, bit more. Let's just make it about Janine. Janine. Uh -oh. Let's talk about uh -oh. uh, where, at what point in the match you felt <laughs> that you had command over the entire match. Uh, from the beginning. Okay, just the beginning. That's it. Even though you missed the first question. And how many first questions have you missed? Probably all of them. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> But I missed, I didn't miss any in that free-for-all when I won the whole thing. You haven't had anyone else do that for you, Jay. Anyways, let's make I that in Janine. wasn't there. There's yeah, that's true. Janine there. was not hey, there. I want to know what's going on with Marquia here. Can you tell me or would... I will let Marquia okay, tell you herself. I would like to hear what she's had. Marvelous, Marquia McCartney. Marvelous. There you go. Hell yeah. yeah. Now, um, it's been a while. I've watched people on Schmodown. I've watched Schmodown itself. I've watched championships come and go. And I realize it deserves me. Schmodown deserves marvelous Marquia McCarty. And in particular, <laughs> Viper Squad deserved me. You know who else deserves me? Rachel Cushing. Rachel Cushing. Also known as The Crusher. <laughs> You're challenging her right now. Rachel, prepare to be crushed oh snap because you deserve me baby you deserve everything that you're about to get Ooh, so her voice yourself, is so sensual but there's no preparation <laughs> for marvelous wow are we we're talking singles it's kind of, wait, are we talking wait, 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 it's more okay no more. both of them are they want to go after Jay. shire wolves i'm about to take on the android the machine wants to take on the android you gotta just Put that nail in that coffin on on the fight club. I get it. There's more. There's, there's more. more. There's more. Would you, until you interrupted me, I'm going to pour salt on this wound so much. Emma. Morton salt, ice salt, rock salt. Oh, Emma Fife, the inner geekdom gauntlet is coming up. And guess what? You get another helping of the Viper Squad. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the head of this play right here. <laughs> I'm going to take your ass down so much, you can cry a puddle of pouring tears and it won't matter. So at the end of the day, Marvelous Marquia McCarty, Janine oh. the Machine, Stacy, who's putting in work, and the Urban Gladiator about to shut this thing down. And it's only two things you can do about it nothing and deal with it damn it damn don't throw the mic they're expensive that's right <laughs> i'm back with the second place finisher emma fife and fife club like all that. together second I place finisher need... that sounds nice that's right. too but you know what it sounds better than loser so i appreciate that it was a difficult start for you and this part how are you feeling yeah at this you moment? know honestly i don't care i mean but, this is the thing Janine played great. I she did play can't great. argue against that. She played extremely well, and obviously Jay Washington is very happy, and you know, I think he needs a win. I don't play in this league. I was challenged by her, true. and so I said, okay, sure, no problem. So you just did this to not back down from a challenge. Is exactly, that kind of yeah. what it's oh, all yeah. about? The Fight Club does not back down from a challenge. Ooh, but speaking of not backing down from a challenge, there's a few challenges that were issued to other people in your club here. Okay. Um, Janine has challenged Mark. I I never met her, so sure, I'll fight her. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have- I feel Marquia, like you sat next to her at the, the uh, challenging you, spectacular. Rachel. Yeah. For a bit. Um, 
she's never no. played. Maybe she's marvelous. Maybe she's not. But like you said, we take the challenges seriously around here, uh, and it's inner geekdom. So I'm on a mission in that league. So sorry, Marquia, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Marvelous, also Marquia. Not going to happen is getting Tylenol after that interview with Jay, which is what I need right now. Um, but here's what I want to know. What is this whole thing with Viper Squad and the Fife Club? What is, is there jealousy? What is going on? Why do they want you so badly? I mean, she whooped them I in the freaking uh, obvious. manageable. Jay Washington was making a big play for Clark Wolf back in the day when it was the Misfits. You remember the Misfits, Brian? I try to forget. And, uh, you know, Rachel Cushing kept saying no, no, no. And then I stepped in thanks to the help of Mark Andreco, who agreed to be a competitor for my league. And, um, you know, Rachel, along with Clark, just jumped right in there. So, frankly, uh, I manage champions. That's what I do. But if anybody else wants to issue a challenge, I'll always say, sure, why not? If you defeat me, then I know that maybe you're going to be a worthy opponent for one of my players. Ooh, very good. The rivalry continues, she did what he and I'm couldn't. so glad I'm not a part of it. All right, so <laughs> Mark has accepted a challenge. Rachel has accepted the challenge. Jay challenged you. I'm assuming you're accepting that challenge. Yeah. What did I say? Fife Club doesn't back down from a challenge. Bring it, Jay. And she's going to destroy him. He's all sound and fury, signifying zero. I mean, technically, zero they've played before. Like they have. And they have geeked them. So. I mean, look at that. All that stuff that went down. That was incredible. Look, first of all, let's start with the with just the machine who cockily calls out the the android, Mark mm -hmm. Andraco here. Mark Andraco now opposed, continuing this continuing this faction where Draco's we have Andraco now versus the machine. That is very interesting how that's going to go down. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there. Very Jay interesting. Washington, so is Janine. The story here is Jay Washington and Marquia. When it goes her way. Know that, that inner geek she did miss that, uh, that we have that Large Marge. Gauntlet happening. Jay Isn't Washington it? challenging Emma Fife immediately. I have uh, no to, idea. To a match inside TV's Big Adventure? Still remember. It. And then Marquia challenges Rachel Cushing, and Cushing accepts it. So right now we have the Fife Club and, and the Viper Squad going head to head to head. We have so many matches between these factions. Who's going to come out on top? Yeah, the, the, the Marquia Rachel matchup is an interesting one, as is Jay. I don't think he's fully gotten over what happened at the Spectacular last year, but I don't want to bury the headline here. Is that the Janine Machine came to play? She came to win, and she had Emma Fife on the ropes. Emma Fife, a game effort, especially especially in round three when she needed it the most. Janine the Machine, just too strong in those first two rounds, Christian. Well, there you go. The Machine starting, I mean, making a play now for Rookie of the Year here to her, Ethan Irwin, so many people out here. Janine starting out big, 2-0. and Comes from being a fan in this league to really showing what she can do. TKO over Emma Fife here. This is big, and if she can do it, what's she going to do? If Mark Andreco looks like he's going to accept, if he accepts the match, then my goodness, what's going to happen there? The Android versus the Machine. All right, so there we go, guys. That is it. That's the match. First of all, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for being a patron if you're a patron. And this is true. Appreciate we both it. talked about it. At 2,500 patrons, myself and Mark Ellis will finally face each other one-on-one -on -one when we get that Give 2,500. Give me that win. So we'll see what happens there. Make sure that you do that. And then it all goes down. June Give the 2nd, people what they it's want. It's going to happen. The Star Wars number one contender triple threat match, Knapsack. Damon Scrimshaw, the winner, will play Sam Whitmer at a later date. And then the main event, we just talked about him. Well, you're going to see him live if you're there at the El Portal Theater. The Shirewolves go head-to-head -head against Team Action. And if Team Action wins, they will get a title shot. And the Shirewolves will be that gateway there. If they cut them off, at right, then the action will not get a shot. It all goes down. Get your tickets. So much on the line. Who will Sam Whitmer be looking at? Will Team Action prevail? Will Rachel Cushing have any porgs left tomorrow night? You're going to find out. And thank you to everybody out there watching here. Subscribe to Collider Video. Check out the Schmodown Rundown on Apple Podcasts and the movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. That's Christian Harloff. I'm Mark Ellis. Would you like to say adieu? Bye. Adieu. <laughs> so what could have been a crushing defeat uh, ended up getting a little bit of uh, closure on that gap between Emma and Janine. Emma fought hard all the way to the end. We don't know how it would have played out uh, with Janine and her final three questions. No, unfortunately, that's the way it goes. Uh, she spun something and she respun from 2000s and ended up with Kate Winslet. And with those single uh, ones, uh, 
uh, slices that are just about that actors like movies and stuff it really goes like differently when you hear those movies because it could be about the movie itself not necessarily Kate Winslet in the movie as we could have seen. Tom Hanks was a crushing example yeah. for Emma Fife. So that happened to her. You think it's going to be easy and it turns out maybe not so much but Kate Winslet I think in this category um, there isn't a whole lot of deep-seated stuff in terms of just what's out there. Like you said, there's, there's only like five movies that really you come up with and one of the questions ended up being divergent, which we already had a divergent question. Like there's some crazier deep questions you could get into, but right off the bat we haven't really scratched that surface yet. Where Tom Hanks, he's so widely known and there's so much he's done that it almost seems like and mean that was of them even to start with the, the harder stuff he ones. did before he became known. Right, and that's why I think because he had such a collection that it's like, all right, let's throw some zingers in there right off the bat versus Winslet who doesn't have a huge collection where it's like all right let's throw some easier ones and easier for you because i did not realize you were such a kate winslet aficionado no that's bullshit i knew that right <laughs> we got a damn freaking heart of the ocean right here uh but yeah it was a hell of a match i feel bad for emma fife but she gets another chance as we said in the beginning she's more inner geek them and she dominates there so uh, i would be really um uh, happy to see her at least get some sort of retribution going up against Jay Washington as she has seen already in the past. So she should be far more confident going up against Washington and inner geekdom versus a, a regular Schmodown league match versus she just, Janine. With, with her match between Jay Washington, which we're going to watch right now, it she has to at least get something good on the wheel for her yeah. to kind of dominate because I think in the second round with Emma, if it doesn't, it, it does. Um, if she kind of falls back in the second round, then it, it kind of um, defeats her in a, a little bit in a way. With everybody, too, and, a lot of people. True, with everybody. I think that second round is really what's going to be like that standing point. Then again, someone could miss a lot of their second questions yep. but still come back. Um, in the third round, so you never really know. She fought hard for that Hugh Grant as well, which yeah. you, in most situations, if you were and that I far totally behind, you give up. Man, I totally get man. I blank. forget names. Bill yeah. Hader? I can't believe I forgot Bill Hader's name. Yeah. Kim Basinger? I forgot her name, too. See, and it's funny, uh, like Sigourney Weaver and Dave. Not, not many people one, would know, know that. that. Not many, but that one's I don't have to think about. And that's a, just how the Schmodown is. Those are ones that I don't even have to think about. It's Sigourney Weaver. But it's Dave and it's Kevin Klein. It's not even a well-known movie. He loves Kevin Klein. I love Kevin Klein. But that's how <laughs> it is. And Janine, congratulations. Because she got romantic comedies. It worked out in her favor. She knew him and uh, killed it. She stole some, too. Yeah. Uh, and it worked out. But the Viper Squad is definitely on out for blood. So we are going to see who they ends up dominating. Us. In this one, I love Jay Washington. I really do love Jay Washington and what he's doing, and I think the man deserves a win in inner geekdom. We got a little stinger out of him in one of our videos. Yeah. Check that out. But at the same <laughs> time, <laughs> yeah, I, I I have to go for Emma Fife in this one because we've seen what she can do in yeah. the inner geekdom. I, I, my lot. Love you, Jay, but my lo my logic yeah. of going Emma Fife, Shire Wolves are my favorite team. I got to support all connected uh, affiliates to that, including the Fife Club, including Emma Fife. So I go Emma Fife. And even the manager's, but, the manager's bowl was an inner fair, geek and she dominated. I, I usually always go for Emma Fife as far as, like, depending on who she's playing as well because... Jay Washington, your heel, and I go for heroes. Well, I'm going for the hero in this situation just because I think, uh, in my opinion, Emma Fife is now uh, out for blood. As so it was good. said in the last match, like Roka said, defeats help create that thirst and that hunger, and I think that defeat um, crushed her, but she's going to end up fighting strong in this next match. So we're going to get into the battle between Jay Washington and Emma Fife now. No. What is this green like slithering and am I slithering? Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown and I'm Chris 
Josh and Harlow, there's Mark Ellis here, and we are to in fight the tonight. heart of the Inner Geekdom Division. We're trying to find a number one contender for Jason Inman's belt to lead all the way up to the Collider Collision, so the series of Inner Geekdom matches, and how about this one? You talk about rivalry, you've got Emma Fife, the manager, the creator of the Fife Club, going up against the creator and the manager of the Viper Squad, Jay, the Urban Gladiator Washington. Yeah, Christian, I mean, if you look at this and you're digging through a pile of pudding that you would have in Double Dare, and you're trying to find that red flag that is the contender to Jason Inman, we have two. Which one of these contenders today is going to be that Double Dare red flag? It's covered in pudding and slime and slop. Well, there's, I They're coming back with Double Dare. need to bring out Mark Summers in the Schmodown. Yes, that'd be awesome. Go back to the manager bowl of the Schmodown Spectacular. Emma Fife taking that victory, winning the shot, giving it to um, Clark Wolf, who came that close. And Nino was so close, she was very too. Smart. She formed the Shire Wolves, brought the Shire Wolves over, and Jay Washington couldn't do that. So when you look at that, she was a victory over there. But then you look at what Washington has done with his, with his squad. Janine just beat Fife in the singles league. Um, you've got a new Marquia who's now going up against Rachel Cushing. Stacey Howard is just playing incredible now. <laughs> She's four and one. Janine's going up against Andrego. There's this just big beef here between Viper Squad's the killing it. They are killing it. The Viper Squad, and it's all going to come to a head right here. Christian, I'll tell you this. I still think Emma Fife is the favorite because if she gets one of the wheels that is her strength, she can <laughs> knock Jay out of the water. Jay knows a little bit about a lot of things. I think Emma Fife, what could smile upon her today? Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily fair. You look at Jay Washington, he has a victory over the former champion Robert Meyer Burnett, and he also held. Oh, he's loud. And he also held very, very strong when everyone thought he was going to annihilated by Rachel Cushing and Inman and he didn't. He came in third in that in that fatal five way, but he fought sh really hard. Jay Washington is, has proven I think Jay Washington's a lot stronger in the Inner Geekdom than well, he, he is in Well, he lifts weights. No, I'm talking about in this <laughs> competition. Ah. Inner Geekdom, he's better at it than the overall general trivia. Um, but this is something that Jay's dangerous in this competition. There's no doubt about it. But it's going to be a good match. I can't wait to see I it. I wouldn't want to go up against the competitors talk about it. Here we go. In times of war, Two generals are allowed to meet up, to have preparation and have what's called rules of engagement, to draw the battle lines. And in this situation, that's what I did with Emma Fife. We made an agreement, if you will, that there'll be no Vipers, there'll be no club. It'll just be myself and Leader her. versus leader. Oh, Jay. I just think that this is a person who really has never gotten over the fact that I beat him in the manager's bowl <laughs> and no matter what happens today, that's not gonna undo that's that. Cool. The fact that Emma Fife won the manager bowl has Love his bowls been have eating at my soul day Again. in and day out. 90s and Watching the snow down, being a part of it and just remembering that yeah, she won them. and when the she sons. won, she brought on the android and, the and then for some bulls. reason she was able to get two people I couldn't Daddy get. Pippen. Do you understand how much that has frustrated me yeah. non-stop? This time, this moment, I let it all out. Honestly, I do want to beat Jay Washington today because I would like to get that loud mouth out of the way so that Rachel Cushing, who we all know is the future inner geekdom champion, can go on her journey without him constantly screaming in her ear. And you know what, frankly, Jay, if you do emerge victorious today and you and Rachel face off against one another, oh well. At least somebody from the Five Club will take you down. I am not playing any games no more. I've had to keep talking and begging and pleading to that Hawaiian shirt wearing idiot commissioner about <laughs> finally having another match, and here I am. So I'm telling you this. I love that. There's no more games in the Five. There's no more costumes. There's no more luck. This is said and done, and there's two things you can do about it. Nothing, Nothing and, and Avada Kedavra. Oh. I don't care, Jay. This, this grudge is all in your head. It's against me. There's no rivalry between us because my faction is superior to yours. <laughs> end of story. <laughs> the end. See, that's what I'm talking about. They really know how to yap in front they of do. a microphone. Yeah. It's just who can summon more knowledge when it's actually on the desk? What is inside these particular heads? What's also very interesting is that they came to agreement that you're not going to get the Viper Squad here. You're not going to get the Fight Club. It's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the battle, and they're going to get to it. And the other thing I found very interesting, if you saw the beginning of this match, Originally, it was talked about that at the Collider Collision, there was going to be a fatal five-way to determine. That is no longer the case. 
Uh, the ruling was made by Commissioner Thad Williams. Now it's going to be a tournament of all these matches. Now mm. eight matches, eight matches throughout those eight matches. Then they're going to play the winners. It's like a full-on tournament here now for the Inner Geekdom leading up to the collision. The winner will then play Inman. But, man, tons of new uh, opportunities for new competitors who didn't think they were going to have a shot at this thing. Yeah, I mean, I used to hate that Thad Williams was the commissioner. I might be singing a different tune. He's giving a lot of opportunities to a lot of newcomers. More Kalinowski. Well, was in that envelope that he opened up in the beginning of this thing because he didn't seem like you wanted to do it, but there's more on that later. Who's in All it? Right, I'm ready to get going. How about who's you? Who's in the uh, tournament? Well, I, mean, I think that's what it is. It's, it's, it's you, who's in the tournament. You know that she's strong at poor collecting. You look at Jay Washington. You know he's really good get? at taking selfies of himself sweaty. What are they good at when it comes to the inner geekdom? All right, so here we go. Inner geekdom. Emma Will Frank Wheaton. Good at comic book <laughs> movies. Harry Potter. Will and... Pork loving. That's like oh, well, that, it is, that is that. adorable. Yeah. Did you say Sorry. pork consumption? Does she know? Does she have a no, recipe no, cookbook? No, she loves pork. She won't eat them, you heathen. And <laughs> then Jay Washington, DC movies, comic book movies in general, and taking selfies of himself at the gym. And, that was correct. And eating pork. That is true. <laughs> and he eats pork oh, as well. Pores. Okay. So that's it. That is Villain absolutely that is a lot of protein. Okay. I'm ready to get going. How about you? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I was looking at this shirt. It's terrible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for <laughs> it's the like a puzzle movie through, uh, trivia showdown. It's like one of those things that were like you had to put Three it close to your face and then you saw it. Magic eye, girl. Division. Yeah, that one. Introducing first. The background to those posters make me do the magic eye thing. Oh, hell yeah. The Fight Club. She is the 2017 manager of the winner. The Listen to the soundtrack quite a bit. <laughs> there you go, girl. She's in her element. The color scheme of the Inner Geekdom League here. Do you think that was done on purpose? I don't know if it was done on purpose. She's blending into the actual set. Maybe she doesn't want Jay Washington to find a snake on and a her. And a sneak attack. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Sneak attack. <laughs> and her opponent. With a record. Of one win, one defeat in the Inner Geekdom Division. He is the creator of the Viper Club. Ladies and gentlemen, the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington. Let me know if that's why. <laughs> Love how the camera shot the damage. Like, what? Oh. Used to cheers. You gotta wonder how that's gonna affect you. He just said, "Boo yourself." Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. So just saying, no factions, mono, he loser. Not even really worried about no. representing the Viper Club as much as himself. That's right. In this matchup. Well, that's what he wants to do. I mean, we already you know he's got some strong competitors in that faction, but what can he do himself here today? And then him. Can he go to two and one? We're gonna find out. All right, Mark, what are the rules for round number one? Let's do this. Emma, you ready? A reminder that porgs are friends, not food. Let's do it. And let's get ready to, to schmooze <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number one, question number one in the realm of Star Trek. 1986 saw the release of which number Star Trek film? Which number of the Star Trek films? There's been like uh, 38, I believe. My last count. Robert Myron would know. They would know. Five, but, uh, four, thirty-eight, three, six, two, one. Pens down. Jay. Star Trek: Wrath of Khan. That's incorrect. I Emma. think it's Wrath of Khan. The <laughs> second one is wrong. It was number four, which is the Voyage uh, Home. The uh, one with the whales. Uh, I Mark. did like that one as a kid. So one with the because I liked whales. Don't eat whales either. Your next category <laughs> is Lord of Down. the Rings. I'm out. Based on the novel series. Your question is. Denethor is seen to be holding what in his lap when Gandalf and Pippin come to see him in the Return of the King. You ever seen a Return of a King? I saw him for the first time on a plane, and as really? we were landing, I had to turn it off right before the end. Oh, well, heartbreaking. All five endings. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't remember. Uh, Boromir's horn. That's correct. Uh, I said Nargio. Oh, I'm a five going up one nothing yeah. here. Over I said it had. I don't know. Clothing horn. <laughs> so Emma <laughs> is up uh, one nothing. All right, so Emma five is. So it's a Back one to the Future. We get to our next question. Well, I did screw up on Honey And that is in the category of the MCU. Category of the MCU. In the Guardians of the Galaxy films, how does Yondu control his arrow? You and him are good friends. 
I like that, Mike. Good, uh, good rapport. I like that rapport. Yeah. yeah so right. shaking his hand in uh, mall rats. Five. I know how to do that. Four. I don't know how to spell it. Three I'm a horrible speller. Two. Whistling? Down, yeah, but it's the Whistling mohawk. Correct. Yeah. I wrote with a laser gun because oh. I had no idea. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's shocking. Okay. Wow. Yeah, but shocked whistling yeah, that's is true because you do need the mohawk to yeah. take it. Right. Like right. It's like Rocket Raccoon's a little cat chasing after <laughs> yeah. the little exactly. laser. It'd be adorable. Not accurate. <laughs> Next question. From the world of Harry Potter, Harry Potter, what animal form does the Patronus take that leads Harry to Gryffindor's sword in the Deathly Hallows Part 1? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, 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 I look at us as it. fair judges. Five, and I think the Four, court system could use two men. Two, Dog. one. Pens down, please. And we're going to is it Jay here? Uh, Jay. A horse? Incorrect. A doe? Correct. A deer. A a a See, I wrote so first because it was his mom. Two one here on Jay yeah. Watch. The next one is from but DC, I couldn't remember. DC movies. Mark Strong played which? Green Lantern Corps leader in the 2011 oh, I don't know their Ryan names. Reynolds shitbox film. <laughs> so, a needle pulling thread. Going, la, a note to follow, so. Good. That will Does it start with a J? I feel like it starts with a J. Five, four, three, stop it. Two, one, pens down, and MFI. I'm going to echo Christian sentiments and just say, who's even seen that? Uh, well, I haven't seen it. I have, because it's Sinestro. That's correct. <laughs> there you go. Two, two, look at this. Back and forth we go. Two, two. <laughs> Next question. We go to the world of The Hobbit. These are movies made after Lord of the Rings. Movies I've seen. But they take place before. before. What is the name? of Bilbo Baggins' home in the Shire. It's not Italian Shire. Me, the name Come on. I call my What's the name of his home? Uh, we, want people, to we want people to watch this five. I think I got all of them in right. one correct order. But, uh, like his physical two, house? Two, one pens down, please, <laughs> and Jay. She knows it, I don't. Emma. I do, it's back end. Back end. I said Hobbiton, that was close. I said Hobbiton too. <laughs> Next question here. Next question's from the DCEU. Um, I can't see anybody missing this one. Who plays Aquaman in Justice League? Okay, now it's your turn yes. to be a Von Trapp child. I want you to stop this. Okay, two I want, more. I, you gotta stop. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, to Jason one, if either one of you gets it wrong, you're going to be asked to leave. Emma? Uh, that would be Jason Momoa. Correct. And Jay? It's Jason Momoa playing Jason Momoa <laughs> as Aquaman. Oh, there you go. Okay. That is an accurate statement. That's true. Tremendous hair on that young man. I'm going to say before you read it, I love this next question. All right. Your next question comes from the world of Star Wars. Yes. In the galaxy far, far away, what color of lightsabers... Did Anakin Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> Talk about a spoiler alert, am I right? Too soon. Well, pick that up again. Oh, Talk no, about a spoiler no, no. alert, am I right? Five, four, Keep I don't remember. Uh, Keep watching. Yes. Okay. What color of lightsabers did Anakin Skywalker use to execute Count Dooku That's wrong. in Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> I hate you. Five, ranking here. Four, You're already counting. We'll talk. Three. Two, one. Blue and white? Down. I don't Jay. remember. Blue and green? Incorrect. Uh, red? Nope. And blue? No, yeah. Ah, right. damn it. Uh, blue and red. He uses Dooku's. Blue and blue. It was and red his own. Damn it. It was red and blue. But Still four to three, five, but they won. Three. Point I'll take, uh, you know what? Yeah. I, I accept the uh, Jane Fonda ruling on that. All right. Here, here we go. That was a Jane Fonda ruling. You're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> you didn't write it down. All right, so here we go. Yeah. Mar Marvel. Marvel is your category. Marvel. I like how MF5 accepted that she didn't follow the rules and didn't get the point and she didn't argue about it. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Marvel. You didn't Marvel. have to have a 20-minute no, debate about no, it. No, I can sleep easier. Marvel. But because of that, Emma, you can uh, choose another wheel to spin on whenever you... Uh, yeah, give, her, give her three <laughs> points. Jail sign off. All right, here we go. Who, uh, Marvel. 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 Who played Cyclops in 2000's X-Men? Well, you don't like those X-Men? Oh, yeah, there we go. Like it's their last name. X-Men. Like, oh yeah, those are the Williamses and the well, X-Men. Oh, it's yeah. like it was... I've been living. dreaming I of true love kiss. Oh, and Giselle! Five, four, three. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. 
who played Cyclops in 2000's X-Men. Thank you. See, that was you put the X-Men button. <laughs> Now, Would you like you know a juicy you know? caramel apple? Caramel apple? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You know who we answered. Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally brain dead, could not come up with the name. Okay. See, uh, mine was uh, slipping. Yeah, mine was slipping and I grabbed it right before it left. Yeah, sometimes I'm not so lucky. I was like, not Ty Sheridan, the other one? As we go on to the last question in round one, your tenth one, and it comes from the category of Mixed bag. Wasn't I shared in the newer one? Yeah. The query is, which actor plays the role of Sulla in Indiana Jones and Gimli in Lord of the Rings? Damn it, we just said it the oh other day. Oh, my God. Uh, Wide <laughs> swath of geekdom. No, we you, just it's, said it. It's tied to both the... It, oh, no. Four, four. Yeah, and this is, this is going to be big going into round two. Four, and five. Four, Damn it. Three. Two, Jonathan Ray's my Davies. Yeah, that's <laughs> damn it. Okay, then look at that. Emma that's up. we see. I had to get that. I was like, Jonathan Ray's my. Oh yeah, it's Jonathan Ray's. Jonathan Ray's not my Davies, and I can't. It just it left. I used it all on you, James Myers, and you son of a bitch. <laughs> Each competitor gets it a spin happens. at the wheel. Looking over here, he is yeah. wearing a classic Chicago Bulls hat. Now you know he's looking for DC, DCU, anything in the comic world. That's what he's looking for. He's spinning away from Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. <laughs> Will he be amongst the all-time Bulls greats like well, Michael Jordan, big. Jerry Sloan? He's, he wants to. He wants to start off strong here, and it's a good strategy by Fife to make kind of put the pressure on him. Going away. Oh. And we're looking at Star Trek, perhaps Christian. Oh, DC. 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 Lands on DC. What's he gonna do? This is a, this is a, this is this a, is a little bit broader than DCEU. Does he want to yeah. tempt fate, or does he want to shoot for DC? There's a lot on there that you could go wrong with. He's involved yeah. in DC properties in round one. Well, let's just. Oh, He's wow. going again. There He's you go. That, oh, okay. That might have been fatal. That have been fatal. He wants something that's a little on. bit. This could be a big risk. This could be a Harry Potter. I don't know. I'm questioning that. Still depends on the momentum he threw. DC movies could end up back at Star Trek. Hunting, uh, maybe a Marvel movie category on he there, might be. but he it's might be. not. It doesn't look like it's going to get there, Christian. This could be DC movies all over again. Oh. It's DC. There you go. It's time. all right. He's got DC movies anyway, no matter what. So right. he's got it. Walking back like that's what he planned the whole time. Right. <laughs> okay, here you go, Jay. DC movies. Five questions in DC. Who played the mobster Gamble that put the hit out on the Joker in The Dark Knight? Which actor? Played the mobster. Game. Michael J. White. That's correct. All right. Damn, yeah, Four, it was Michael J. Points, White. Spawn. Didn't even yeah. need multiple choice. All right, next question. In Superman 2, what is the name of Zod's second in command played Ursa. by Sarah Douglas? Ursa. Multiple choice. Is it A, Ursa, B, Barda, C, Mera, D, Feyora? Feyora. Incorrect. Is it A, Ursa? That's correct for one. Woo! Yes, yeah, yeah. Back to tied. Tricky Three Tricky questions Skolesky. left. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who played the villainous Quentin Turnbull in the abomination Jonah Hex? You're going to stop judging movies when you're oh, asking a question. Sorry. Trying to be an impartial artist. I apologize. Multiple choice. A, John Malkovich. B, Clancy Brown. C, Stephen Lang. I'm going to go D, Clancy Brown. Jonathan Schick. Go Malkovich, because Stephen he, Lang. Like, That's correct. Uh, can I hear the choices again? Yes. Is it A. John Malkovich? B. Clancy Brown. C. Stephen Lang. D. Brown. Jonathan Schech. Clancy Brown. And then you said. Uh, no, no, he said Stephen Lang. Lang. Uh, no, Clancy sorry. Brown. Both yeah. wrong. Uh, John Malkovich was the answer. Oh, okay. John Malkovich. All right. He needs a paycheck. So question number four. Who was credited as Superman's biological father, Jor-El, in Superman Returns? Uh, the, uh, um, the actor. The actor. Marlon Brando? Multiple choice. A. Marlon Brando. B. Anthony Hopkins. C. I mean, Liam Neeson. Yeah, Superman D, Returns, it was Marlon Brando. He did the voice. Five. Four. Three. Two. Liam Neeson. Incorrect. Marlon Brando. One point for yeah. him. One point. Here. They brought back Jay Jay Washington. Uh, likeness. They tried to continue Superman the story. Return. Yes. All right. Okay. Here we go. One more. Green Lantern's ring and power batteries are fueled by Will. What? Yeah, Will is correct. Well, Two points for just, Jay. You got that one. Is okay. that really what powers it? Is good old fashioned want to? All right. So Jay, now, <laughs> it was a good strategy by Emma to, to go second here because now she is up after five questions in round. 
one for yeah, that's two for really good for her. Harry she's Potter. Spinning. Jay when she spun that Potter, we lost our mind. Not so what you want to see your lead dwindle to after you've already gone in round two. Round and round the wheel goes. Uh, she's hunting yeah, Harry yeah, Potter, yeah. hunting Lord of the Rings. And Looks she's like we're getting Star Wars, perhaps, Christian. Ooh, she hit this against Inman, and she it did does not go her way last time. How many poor time? questions do we have? I know, that's the question. She knows Star Wars, but it did not treat right. her well. She's Inman. seen the movies. Yeah. What is she going to do? I say stick with it. If we're not going to stick with it, spin from the other side. Five, yeah. Four. Spinning away spin from again. Star Wars. Okay. Spinning away. A lot of people this up here it. on this answer desk yeah. would not have done the same thing. Well, no. She, yeah. Again, like I said, she did it against Inman. It just didn't go her way. She probably wants to try something else. Here we go. Looking for maybe a... I don't think we have a hobbit away from Star Wars. Oh, oh that might be... Could be... Oh! oh! No, and look at Jay Washington. Look at that! <laughs> look at Jay Washington. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be good. Chris, I'm going to call it right now. Jay's going to need to get some sort of crazy steal here in round two to have he a is. shot in round he three. Because Emma, this is her strength. All right. Move to Harry Potter questions. Emma Fife, your first question in the world of Mr. Potter. Mm -hmm. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, what number is the vault that the Sorcerer's Stone is kept in? 713. It wow. would have been funnier if it was 69, but you are correct. <laughs> Two points for Emma Fife, and she all of a sudden has the lead. Your next question. Keep in round please. two Harry Potter movies. Stand back. What are the objects that are used to store part of a person's soul called in Hope Harry Crux. Potter? Horcruxes. Wow. Two, Two more, more points. points. Has not broken a yeah. sweat yet. Yeah. All right, Emma. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, what precious material are Okami eggs made out of? Uh, can I have multiple choice, please? Certainly. Yeah, is it A, gold, B, silver, C, platinum, or D, bronze? Gold. I believe it is gold. That is incorrect, Jay Washington. Silver. Steel. Bronze. Uh, yeah, you had it right there. It was silver. Because isn't that what the little dude loves? He loves, he loves silver. Here as we get to two more questions here left in Harry Potter. He All likes right. just shiny Emma, things. Your next question and your penultimate one. Silver in Harry and Potter gold. In the Chamber of Secrets, what does Ron tell Draco to eat? But the slugs. Spell backfires on slugs. Slugs. Two, two more points. points. It's a five-point lead. We're definitely going to a round three. It's just a question the of damn how broken much one. Be in. Because Emma Fight has one more question. So she can sick. extend They're this lead to slugs. seven. Here's the query. What is the name of the gossipy reporter that appears in Rita the Goblet Skeeter. of Fire? Rita Skeeter. It is Rita Skeeter. 15 wow. to 8. And Jay Washington is in trouble. may have been felled He's by in a trouble. sinner's choice wedge. Yeah, and look at that. So Jay Washington is on the ropes here going into round number three. Well, you have spun away from Star Wars. Knowing what you know now about Emma <laughs> Fife's ability, I think it was the wise move to spin away from that other dirty galaxy that's way off somewhere. Well, yeah, like I said, she had that, she had that against uh, Jason Dick. Didn't go her way, so she. I she feel like they should call the Harry Potter film films nice. Slice Wizarding World. Yeah. No. Right, no. Now with Mark, the other movies In coming out, yeah. he needs to hit all three. Two, six, and fourteen. Two, six, and fourteen. Mm -hmm. Two, six, and fourteen. Yeah. Two, six, all right. Oh, so Jay yeah, Washington hit all three. needs. He needs at least two. Uh, he needs a five pointer for sure. And he needs both. All he's three. He's gonna need all the points he can get. I think it's fair to say that math is hard. No, he needs the five and the three. Math is. Oh boy, after 10th grade, it gets really tough. Technically, all three would be all 18. Your first yeah, one but is. If she hits the first two, then it's over. Right, but and if he misses the game, we'll Please. let him play. <laughs> Indiana Jones. There's many. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Here you go. Damn it, Jonathan Reese. In the Indiana Jones series, who yes. said the following quote? I find that if I just sit down, the solution presents itself. Uh, it's Sean Connery, so Henry Jones, Sr. The solution presents itself. He falls down the stairs. Five. Four. Henry. Three. Repeat the question. Henry! One. In the Indiana Jones series, who said the following quote? I find that if yeah, I just you gotta sit say down, Henry the solution I feel like you would have to itself. say Henry Jones Sr. Yeah, that's the first thing I said, so I agree. Incorrect. Yeah. for Indiana Jones's father, Henry Jones Sr. Yep. So now Jay Washington Can't just is in say a position Henry Jones, because it could be either one. Jay misses this three pointer. Emma Fife. That's why instinctively I went Henry Jones Sr. Over Jay Washington. Yep. Gotta hit the three pointer. What Jay category Washington did he get? chose number six. This is gonna be nice for him. It's the DCEU. Okay. The DCEU. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Here you go. 
J to stay alive in Justice League. Name two of the groups that joined the Amazons in foiling the Green Lanterns plans thousands of years ago. The Lanterns and the Atlanteans. Yeah. That is correct. Good job. Okay, okay. So now, so he has a chance to regain the lead here if he hits this question. If he gets she this, gets he anything, avoids it's, the TKO it's over. and forces it back to Emma Fife, but he's got to hit it. Yeah, he's got to get it. Number 14, that's Villains. That's Villains. Okay. He villain status. Yeah, posts about all the time. All right. <laughs> in 19... This is it. In Villains. In 1989's Batman, at the museum, Vicki Vale asked the Joker what he wants. What was his initial response? A song. A song, a dance, Batman's head on a lance. Little song, little dance. That is correct. Batman's head on a lance. That is correct. That's, That's or well, wouldn't have gotten that. On bill, but now that he uh, says he it, yeah. Little song, little dance. Little dance. That, dance. that is correct. All right, that so man's down on him. That's a big one. That's like a five pointer. That is a five pointer. That's a five pointer. That's a good job. That's a good one. To try to win the game on any one of her questions. If she just hits one question, she wins. Mark, she chose number four. What did she choose? Uh, number four is your two-pointer, Emma, and up here it corresponds to a category that may not thrill fans of the Viper Squad or Jay Washington. That would be Lord of the Rings. And your two-point question is, in Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, who found the ring after Isildur? The Sildor. Close to Lost it. Smeagol. It was Smeagol and Deagol, eventually oh, oh. Gollum. And your winner, Damn. ladies and gentlemen. It's true. It would have been Smeagol first Emma. because it was like eventually his, became Gollum. Eventually he she became Gollum the because the Emma ring over here. Okay, what do you want to challenge? Because she said Smeagol at first. Smeagol is Deagle. I know it's Smeagol and Deagle. They both found it, mm. and then later Smeagol killed Deagle, and then he became Gollum. She said Smeagol initially, and then you had to repeat it. So I'm challenging it. Uh, oh snap! Here's the thing, here's the thing though, I, is I that Smeagol isn't wrong. It's not, but it's Smeagol and Deagle. Well, then I would challenge the way the question is worded. Challenge. All right, here's the, here's the challenge. The challenge Double challenge! The <laughs> Look for that flag! <laughs> where's Where's Rachel? She in the, in They're the crowd? They're all running up there. They're going to ask another right, question. Coming back from the challenge, the challenge on the board was that uh, Emma Fife initially, she said Smeagol for the answer. And Jay challenged it because she said Smeagol and Deagle. They are not the same person. They are different people. It is Deagle. We're going to award Jay Washington Deagle got a challenge. First. So it was Deagle. Five. Deagle was a different person. So now Emma Deagle Five has to enter three. The match still continues. Okay. And we get to our second question here. Yes, that is, go. Uh, right. yeah. Emma Just Fife keep plugging away. It was the wrong answer. For her three pointer. And that corresponds to a category that Keeping it you tight. spun away from in round two, and that would be Star Wars. Jeez. Nothing but Star Wars for three points and the win. Emma Fife, your question. So close. What was Yoda's approximate age? Nine hundred years old. Nine hundred years um, old. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. And your winner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, she's done it for the second time. <laughs> You may never find a more competitive match than what we just did. Pretty darn good one here for the Undertaker. Good match. Emma Fife is advancing here and takes out the Urban Gladiator. One more victory here for now. The Fife Club over the Viper Squad. This battle that was her third keeps point, on right? going between these two. Uh, and they, wow, that was intense. Because she didn't get the other point, so this Jay was her Washington three point. I lost count. And TKO, I feel like that should be 18 and 17 if she started off with 15. Forces it back, wins she the wins. Challenge. Dave fought very well. I'm just saying. After he missed a two she needs all the points she can get. I thought, okay, well, it's time to wave the white flag, but Jay, he just kept coming She needs all the points that she deserves. That's where he gets that endurance as he goes to the gym. He builds up the ability to compete hard for all three rounds. Emma Fife, just too tough today. Well, well now Emma Fife goes further in this inner Geekdom tournament, yep. and now the question starts to, to to pose itself because we got Marquia going up against Rachel. Okay, let's say that Rachel wins that match, okay? Um, then what happens if Rachel and Emma have to 
face each other down the line. Then it's, it's, it's going to be I think a that, uh, fight bunch um, They will just play the game, to be and they don't care who I mean, wins. I, you wonder what the fallout of that matchup is going to be if everybody can still be. But, but that's a ways down the road. Who knows? For, Rachel's got to get by Marquia first. We know nothing about Marquia. Task, yeah. We know nothing about her whatsoever. She could be the greatest player that we've ever seen in this game. So I know Rachel's not sleeping on her. Pretty either. knowledgeable on movie talk. Yeah. I can vouch for that. All right, so we're going to go to Jen Sturger, who is backstage with both the Golden Mike and the Urban Gladiator. Here we go. What's up, Movie Tribute Mode fans? Jen Sturger here with the Golden Mike Emma Fife. Congratulations on a well-fought match. Thank you. I, uh, I feel good about what I accomplished today. I was a little annoyed with myself for not writing red and blue on that Star Wars question in the beginning because <laughs> I, could tell. I almost Two colors. wrote and blue, especially when Jay called for the repeat, but I just was like, nah, they're both red. And then I was like, no, they said colors, colors, colors. I feel like this is a trick question, but I think I redeemed myself on that uh, three-pointer there with 900 and Yoda, so I feel pretty good. And then skipping past Star Wars. Yeah. What so was the logic there? Were you a little thing. scared? I, I, so here's the thing. I know Star Wars quite well. I really do. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I know a lot, certainly, about the Star Wars universe when but it comes you're a little gun shy when it when, when it comes to the finer details of the actual film sometimes i really don't know uh so i spun away from it because the last time i did not and it was all pretty pretty specific Technical details stuff. about things that had gone on in the films and frankly we have had multiple whole star wars matches so naturally that elevates the levels of the questions that you get even in inner geekdom or outside of inner geekdom star wars is often a category in regular schmodown matches so just by virtue of the fact that you've had so many questions star wars can be a little challenging i i i thought really hard about it because i knew it could be worse than star wars for me quite frankly but I spun away, and uh, ultimately, I'm very glad I did. Absolutely, <laughs> save yourself from potentially some pretty deep cuts. Sure, and got to get a, a and good then lead. you got Spinner's Choice. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time I've ever got Spinner's Choice. Uh, every other time I've spun Harry Potter, it's just worked out to spin Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I was very, very happy to get to do that today because that is really a strong point for me. It's one of the things that I'm really passionate about, and the things that I am really passionate about, I am extremely knowledgeable about. So. And I can see you got a little frustrated in the last round, you know, when Jay challenged your first yeah, question. Yeah, you know what, honestly, I, I thought about it, and it really it really was a fair challenge. And I, you know, I can envision the scene at the beginning of Return of the King now. And that's the difference between her and everyone else. the person who picks Loses up the ring first, so it. It, was, it was completely legitimate. You know, it's just been so wonderful seeing the Viper Squad and the Five Club going at it, trading blows. <laughs> but eventually... You may have to go up against one of your own teammates. Yeah, well, I mean, Rachel both Rachel and I are playing in this sort of league that's going to lead to a tournament eventually. And if Rachel and I play each other, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. She's totally going to kick my butt. But, it, you know, it, who knows? It'll, it'll be a really good time either way. <sighs> that's the kind of attitude to have. Yeah. And I'm, uh, you know, and honestly, I, I'm happy that, uh, and I mean, Jay played a great match today. There's no two ways about it. He definitely gave me a run for my money. He used his challenge very wisely. So really power to him in that regard. But I am kind of happy that Rachel won't necessarily have to deal with him yelling in her face <laughs> quite as much, uh, particularly not after she beats Marquia, which I'm quite confident is going to happen because Rachel's a champion, you guys. There's no two ways about it. And how are you feeling with June 2nd coming up? I am uh, really, really excited for the live event on June 2nd. I, you know, that's... There's something so magical about the live Schmodown events. I know that you were at the last one. Oh my God, so much fun. It, and it's, it's so great to see all the fans out there and the energy in the room and Rachel and Clark. I mean, they're, they're spectacular competitors either way, but I think you're really going to see them blossom with that audience and just totally kick team action's butt. Well, congratulations <laughs> again, Emma, once Thank again. You. And we are so excited to see what's next for the Five Club. I'm excited to see what's next for us too. It's going to be good, whatever it is. Oh, Jay. That was a tough loss. I could tell up there that you were really frustrated, especially in that third round when you got a little heated with Christian. What's going through your brain right now, man? <sighs> a little baby eye action there. Man, a few words today. That's It happens though. So, like, like um, even though it's a fun game Jay, and everything, I, I mean, we it's have to like, know, like how when you does lose, this affect like, the Viper Squad streaming. going okay. forward? Yeah. You know, with this whole rivalry you guys are building with the Five Club right now. Can 
to get Jay like a throat lozenge. <laughs> I don't need a lozenge. Oh, okay? damn. But Let I me tell you what this game. does. It does, excuse me for a second. Step to the side. Love you. I'll talk to you in a minute. This is what this does. It pisses me off even further. Okay, she won. What they do that damn day. But Janine beat you. Guess what? That hurt too. And guess what? Marquia is gonna crush the crusher. Stacy's on a roll. Four and one. You think I give a damn? I lost. Okay. Lord of the Rings. I knew that answer though. She didn't get it. I knew it. Now, <laughs> what does that mean going forward? That means I still stay in this thing one way or another. You think I let a loss slow me down? Hell no. I focus on the other Vipers. I let them do the work and me just sit in the back and cheer them on. Yeah, I'll be their cheerleader. Hi, Internet. You got something else to say about it? So, with that being said, I'm looking forward to continually having these Vipers destroy the I Club. I'm looking forward to getting back here and a rematch with Emma Fife. My way. How about just Marvel in DC and Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter? That's it. Only those four. We do just those four. Call it a day. You can come back now. <laughs> if you want to conclude this interview. Thanks, Jen. Number five, you know, look, look, she's happy. That's a big victory for her to take out. Watch, it's her first inner geekdom win. So, especially after losing to Janine that way. But she's talking about playing on she's you know and, and and jen asked her what happens if she plays yeah. against rachel and she's like what do you think's gonna happen we're gonna play we're gonna have a good time and whoever whoever challenges inman challenges Inman. well we had a good time here today and jason inman i think that he started to raise an eyebrow at, at, at jay washington too but i think particularly emma fife is now on his radar as a bogey we want to hear from you guys now comment let us know what did you think of today's match did you like my shirt and my jokes or are you like christian and you weren't so high on that that's right and also jay washington talking about the fact he's clearly miffed back there. He's clearly miffed and he wants to now he's talking about Marquia. Marquia taking out Rachel. And so you're gonna see the Urban do his do his he's thing. He's getting back to being a the, the, the ruler of a faction yeah, yeah. versus just because when he came out he was all for himself well, and now he's he start now he needs his pals. He was ready to do that. And also yeah. to you guys, thank you guys very much for being patrons. We really appreciate that. Keep on going and look, we have so much more we want to do. And in order to do that, him and I might go head to head. Again, whether it is a dollar a month or whatever it might be, there's tears there for you you guys to help along the cause so much more that we have to do in this league and it, without you guys we, we couldn't do it so for Mark Ellison I'm Christian Harlow thanks once again and we'll catch you next time oh Mike. man no oh, damn You're making some moves. Yeah, making moves. All right. All right. <laughs> Is that it? That's all you need. <laughs> but that's all you need. Get a little taste of it, you know. Do the little sprinkle of the salt. <laughs> yeah, play the long game, I guess, if you're going to end up absorbing it. You got to season it. What if he just goes all AWOL and he doesn't end up joining them, though? He's Unless, doing his no, own no, no, thing. No, no. That'd be crazy. He joins up, but the only reason why he's joining up, he's trying to destroy each faction one, t one, one at a time. Yeah, that would be a hell of a thing because to do. Because he's been burned by a faction before. Right. He doesn't want to be a part of a faction anymore. Sure, he'll play play your game. Playing the long game. Play your game. Towards the end of the time. Crash you just and did burn. the wolf pack symbol right there. Ow! Crash and burn. Right there, outsiders, girl. But yeah, I really want to see what is what is happening. At least we know that he's on the on Roka's radar, um, and obviously he's on Nos's radar because Roka and Nos are it's in the hit. Um, but yeah, really, really interested to see. What was in the envelope? What do they have in store for that inner geekdom tournament? There's got to be somebody in there that was, you know, definitely uh, a way to, to get Thad on board. So um, I'm, I can't wait to find that out. But second, uh, yeah, we've the second match we've got Emma walking away victorious, much like we kind of thought she would. Um, but again, it really just comes down to those spins, man. She is amazing at the wheel. Yes ridiculously good. If it's not Harry Potter, she's spinning the spinner's <laughs> choice to get Harry Potter. So it worked out for it her. It did work out. I'm really I mean I'm not complaining. I love doing all the Harry Potter questions as well along with her. So 
Um, it was a lot of fun. Man, Jay, though, so close. Such a good challenge, yeah. too. When, like, when it's, uh, what's the word? When it, uh, when it counts, essentially, right. is, uh, is those challenges is when you really need them. Sometimes other teams, not going to say names, just kind of push challenges out there because they think that they can get everything they want, lines done. <laughs> but... Jay, he pulled it out. And that's the thing is, I think that's the first time we've seen a challenge come post. Uh, Someone vic winning, victorious. Yeah. yeah. After a victor is announced, like we haven't, and I've always thought about that. Like, what happens if you threw out a challenge well, after I guess the music we do plays? Now. Yeah, we see that that they can recant it, and the whole thing just goes right back. He uh, definitely snuffed out that win, but it was only prolonging the inevitable. So. Yes. Jay, I really hope he would see a win. Um, I want him to see a win. Um, but other than that, he does have a victory already in tow with uh, his like two girls. Squad, yeah, yeah, and then possibly could be getting another one with the Marvelous One versus Rachel. So, good good day for both the Viper Squad and, of course, the Shire Wolves and the Five Club. Um, and hopefully it'll be an even better day for the Shire Wolves come tomorrow when we yes. are at the live they event. stab him and he crumples up. Violent with it. Oh. <laughs> with oh. their knowledge of movie truth. Okay, oh. there you go. I think that's in <laughs> reference to the poster that Vanessa has made for tomorrow's big event. We will have two vlogs coming from that day um, for each individual match that will debut when the matches eventually drop uh, on YouTube. So we'll have that in store. We have uh, tickets to our seats and we will also be there in the green room in the back uh, hanging out. So if you guys are there tomorrow, June 2nd at the El Portal Theater, say hi. We're going to be there. Tim to Tank, Ashley, uh, all the belts, we're all going to be there. A lot of Tucsonans showing up for that big event as well as, as well as Phoenicians showing up yes, as well. Yes, which means next live event <coughs> could possibly be in Phoenix. You Let's take know. it on the road. Let's yeah. take the show take on, it the on the road. Bring it here. Bring it to AZ. It's like 107 tomorrow here. So we're happy yeah. to get over to Cali uh, for an IA. So yeah. either way, thank you guys for watching our reactions to the Fife Night of Emma battling it out with Janine and of course Jay Washington. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the same on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start us. All the social networking, Ginger and you know where they are. Kicking the party, fill the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Get us where we need to go and get us new markers as well. Look at that. We got some more all black because we know you guys couldn't see it before when it was lighter fair colors. So either way, thank you guys. Say hi tomorrow, June 2nd at the live event. And other than that, now, now it's, it's time, time to, to say, say goodbye. goodbye. This party's, party's over. over.